what's going on here with this big picket line? Well, what's going on here, these workers of New England Linen have asked to join a union, and we have taken on their challenge to form a union, and the company has resisted uh, uh, the workers' right to form a union. And so we're trying to send a message to the workers that we support them, and send a message to the company that they're going to be pariahs uh, in this community. Because uh, as it stands now, uh, any uh, corporate citizen, good corporate citizen, will allow their employees to form a union of their choice whenever they want to. How have they expressed it? Has there been an NLRB election or a card check? There's been no card check, no NLRB elections. The fact is that this company has poisoned the well. They have threatened workers uh, who wanted to join a union. They have uh, chased and yelled at organizers in front of workers. They've come out here and yell at organizers in front of workers. They've threatened to close the shop. They've held a number of captive audience meetings inside that plant with all of the workers, telling them terrible things about the union. So that has poisoned the well. And those workers now are so intimidated that an election would be a useless thing. It's like having an election in the midst of an occupation in a foreign country. It just doesn't make sense. How many workers are in here? There's about 100 workers, 100 plus workers in this plant. They also have a sister plant in Linden, New Jersey, which holds about 50 workers. And what are some of the things that are the difficult conditions or low pay in here? There are people who work in here who have been working in this plant for 15, 20 years and are barely making $8 an hour. That's, that's, uh, that's uh, what, can, what can I call those kinds of wages? Sweatshop wages, uh, poverty wages. Um, and those folks don't have a right, a right to try to, to negotiate for wage increases. There are workers in here who have no health insurance, zero health insurance, because the company, although they offer a health insurance plan, is clearly unaffordable. The workers cannot pay for that health insurance plan, so workers go without health insurance. The working conditions in this plan are terrible. OSHA fined them about four or five months ago $14,000 for having unsafe conditions in this plan. Workers in here don't have a pension. Workers in here don't have the kinds of things that our, your father, my father, and our forefathers fought for, uh, you know, over the last couple number of uh, 50 years or so. So that's those are the issues in this plan. If workers in the plant or any other plant would like to contact your union, and I don't know if we identified your union, let's do that, and then maybe a phone number or web uh, address. Uh, my union is Unite HERE. We are the work the union that represents laundry workers and gaming workers and hotel workers and university workers and textile workers and you can reach my union at the national office at 212-265-7000. Uh, there's a local uh, chapter, there's a local office here, local 3534 and local 217, which is out of Yale, uh, out of the Yale campus at the, in College Street. I don't know the number of that one. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.